We look at democracy as a platform of services that all support each other, and at the center of that is Democracy Player, which is our sort of flagship product. It's what most of our users experience, and it's, it's where everything comes together. Um, Democracy Player lets you watch video feeds, organize your videos, everything like that, but you need a way to find channels that you want to watch, video feeds that you want to watch. Um, you need a way to share those with friends, and so and you need a way to publish those. So um, we try to address all of those needs. The channel guide is built into Democracy Player, and it lists now over 600 channels that you can subscribe to. You can search for them um, by tags, popularity, all those kinds of things you'd expect. Subscribe with a single click. Um, video Bomb is the sharing component of the service, and when you email a video to someone, you, you go through Video Bomb, and if you want to create a feed of your favorites, and share that feed with somebody else, basically your own edited channel of what you like, you can do that with Video Bomb, and you can also um, add things to that list from within Democracy Player. Uh, Broadcast Machine is a web app, kind of like a WordPress for video that you could install on your website and helps you publish um, videos into a compatible video RSS feed. And the most unique thing that Broadcast Machine does is that it really simplifies uh, the creation of torrents for most people, and that can save you a lot of bandwidth. I think the motivation for the Participatory Culture Foundation came out of, of an, an understanding that we had, we've had for a while that mainstream media is extremely limited, and, and, and only the richest companies or richest individuals have a chance to get their message out through that form. And that's something that, for a lot of practical reasons, was just kind of the way things are. It's expensive to do, and, and in some ways that was the way the world worked. Um, I think uh, sort of the vision that we had, which I think a lot of other people ha were having at the same time, was that this, the internet was getting to the point where it could start to a supplement and eventually replace those traditional modes of broadcast. And so we felt like we had a vision for a piece of software and a system that was both realistic to build, open source, open standards, and fit well with the way the internet works currently, where everything is linkable, everything can communicate with each other, you know, feeds that work in Democracy Player. Um, also work in any other compatible RSS application. Sure, so um, I studied public policy at Brown University and that's um, where I got my bachelor's degree. I was really involved in political activism um, really throughout college, after college, worked on uh, anti-sweatshop efforts there and after school, environmental stuff, healthcare stuff. And uh, had always been interested in technology but hadn't been, you know, really involved with, with the internet very much. Um, and a friend of mine and I started a project about four years ago uh, around online music, talking about independent artists and the opportunities that the internet was creating for um, people to sort of decentralize and change the music industry. And that really sort of opened our eyes to how much power the internet had for changing media, changing uh, systems of um, distribution of media in the country, and, and really reducing the incredibly centralized power that corporations have in our culture. And so we started off seeing, you know, what kind of amazing reach you could get with a web page, how many people you could reach for, for such a small amount of money. And then we started to realize that building tools can extend that even further. And that's when we started thinking about video, started thinking about TV, and, um, and launched uh, this project. Right, so we're a nonprofit organization. We've been funded for the past year and a half um, by grants from foundations and individuals that support our mission. Um, and in the long run, we're hoping 
to move in the direction of a company like Mozilla that is a nonprofit, but also generates some revenue in a way that, that doesn't interfere with their mission. So if there's ways that we can um, you know, have sponsored video search in the application or um, provide services to companies that want their own branded version of the player to show their content, things like that that um, let us focus on our, our mission and don't interfere with the user experience, then it would be great to be able to have, have an income stream of our own and be sort of self-sustaining that way. And until then, um, we've had just a lot of generous donors that really care about the mission, think we're on the right track, and are supporting the organization. Mm -hmm.